Derek Garrett Bynum available today, still out with that abdominal strain for Providence. But Bryce Hopkins and Arthur. There is Hopkins takes the first shot of the afternoon and misses from the free throw line. Saw that sagging defense from Kalkbrenner. They'll give Croswell any outside shot he wants. It was good execution by the Fries on the first play. And the Kalkbrenner. Great feed. Both coaches are best of friends. Both coaches are great for today's athletes, this generation of basketball players. They know how to coach talent and coach guys up and give them room to be players. Kaluma on the drive. Good defensive, a post defender. Carter hit the deck hard and Croswell there to clean it. With the runner, Shireman pulls down the rebound. Shireman, one of the great rebounders in the league. And there's Kalkbrenner. Selfish, and they have precision when they see their teammates open. Right there. Paul Brenner running the lane for the easy basket, a rim run. Thanks to Shireman. Carter splits the defense. Carter goes right at Kalk Brenner and makes it. Xander passed up the three. And there's another block by Devin Carter. Devin Carter, a two way player. Easy move by him. right there on the isolation defense recovering. He knew to attack the basket. Easy layup. Nearly another turnover for Providence. Carter shot wouldn't go. Play as Devin Carter goes to the line, first free throw attempts the game, and he makes the first. You know, you're talking about Devin Carter, who has been a pleasant. And Ed Cooley's done it as well as anybody. Nemhard fires from three and Locke pulls down the rebound. And speaking about one of those transfers, Noah Locke with the rebound, and you're absolutely right, Jeff. It has to be a two-way streak to get the ROI return on your investment for the player and return on the investment for the coach, and it seems to be working out well for the Friars. Hopkins able to hit the runner in there. Wide open three, Floyd. No reset on the shot clock. Croswell, the offensive rebound. He's got a chance for three. It's minute and change. Croswell couldn't con in that play. Lock catch and shoot. Come on, Will for the Friars in the last several games. Last outing, 20 points. He's finding his niche right here, knocking down shots. Shireman with the size advantage over Floyd. He's isolated. Shireman with a strong hand. Snaps Veteran it. bigger wing guarded by a freshman, and they took advantage of that matchup. Shireman delivering with the post up of Corey Floyd Jr. Hopkins had Kaluma right in his face and a whistle. Player is what you want for a forward who is an offensive. So Clifton Moore check in, one of the seniors for Providence. Four-point lead for Providence here on the road. Another big test for this Friars team. Yeah, I don't, the Blue Jays are not really known for isolation, one-on-one -on -one playing basketball. Shireman. Nemhart and company. Trying to build on a little momentum. Trey Alexander going to the line with a chance for one. Alex and Alexander averaging 14 points in the Big East, 12 points overall for the season. Inside touch, what a feed from Moore. Tries his hand at a three and... It's nothing but the backboard. Close that door. Close that door. Some of that Omaha win. I feel like one of the Manning brothers pushing that one to the side. Alexander cut off nicely by Floyd. Very good defense by Corey Floyd Jr. Up top, Kalkbrenner. 
couldn't catch the lob and finish it in the air. That's that veteran presence as a big. This is why he shoots 72% field goal because he caught, gathered, took his time, and put it back in. And three for four already today from the floor for Kalkbrenner. Hopkins with the feed to Moore. That's more his yeah, game. You're going to hear me say this all day today. The ball will be in Hopkins to either score or make a play for his teammates right there. Seeing the vision and the drop off to Moore. Might not be a more valuable transfer than Hopkins. Lemhart runs the floor, blocked by Carter. Security. Already the second block for Devin Carter. Now he tries for three and he drills it. What a play, Drew Carter. There's Shireman around the screen. Shireman's got the hot hand with 13. But it's good to see that it wasn't on him. Alexander makes momentum right now in this game, and they've done it with their defense, and they've done it with their pass. When you're off and lock, unfortunately chasing it down and creating a foul for himself. Alexander. For the Friars, buying them another transfer who provides this team with some veteran leaders. They know they're not going to get that many touches, and that's an <laughs> offensive opportunity. Crosswell takes advantage of that offensive glass. Lock his runner, rims through. They're giving Crosswell the green light. Kalkbrenner up to the task. Absolutely. Kalkbrenner with excellent defense there in the post. Great feed underneath. Breed going to Kalkbrenner and he pinned it. Security. Protect my house. Kalkbrenner, one of the great shot blockers in the country. Underneath with some English. By a 7 1 big who has the time in the block shot. Carter went right at Kalkbrenner and is tier. Back to a five point lead for Creighton. Alexander isolated. When Creighton can get good ball movement and body movement, that's when they're at their best. That's when they find good quality shots, like I talked about at the build. Shire as well to allow Shireman the freedom of movement. Now Carabello comes away with a basketball. Two on one. Alexander runs the break. That could be a goaltender as well. To allow Shireman the freedom of movement. Now Farabello comes away with a basketball. Two on one. Alexander runs the break. That could be a goaltender. Get the knee braces out. Another turnover for Providence. And there's Shireman running the floor. Get the knee braces out. Another turnover for Providence. And there's Shireman running us back in his game. He's taking a chance right here. This is a risk to have his offensive power on the court, but hoping that he doesn't get a third foul. Well, that was a bad pass intended for Croswell. He's able to get it back, though, and Croswell with the bucket. Regis showing his ball screen defense. Kalkbrenner offensive rebound, and he'll go to the line. Regis showing his ball screen defense. Kalkbrenner offensive rebound and he'll go to the line. You can't teach and you can't teach 7-1 going to get a rebound and having an advantage because of his height. And he utilizes it well. Frederick King on the floor. There's a three and it's off the heel. Carter chases down the rebound. Devin Carter is fouled. You're upping your defensive presence on the perimeter for this final 39 seconds. Free throws for a team that lives at the free throw line. They've only been there five times. That's just Welcome to College Sports USA, your channel providing College Sports highlights and news all year round. Just a reminder to please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification Alan bell. Alan Breed running into a lot of traffic up ahead. Kaluma to Alexander running the break. Alexander able to finish it. Carter behind the screen of Croswell was short. And Emhart has been almost a non factor. Now, what a recognition as a team letting Shireman just come downhill off of the cut at the top of the key for an easy dunk. You can see the looks on some of the faces of the, the Friars bench. They've not seen this team play like this in a long time. 
Reed going right at the trees and finishing. Good job. Here come man. the Friars. Hopkins, one on two. Euro stepping his way through. Missed. Got his own rebound. But he was fouled. Struggling to make perimeter shots. You have to get out in transition like they just did. Getting the his first free throw attempt. And he's one out of two. His first free throw attempt. And he's one out of two. Transfer to Kentucky. When I saw him at Kentucky last season, I said, this kid has Alexander weaving his way through for an easy game. Corey Floyd Sr., which we used to call him C Flight. As you see a little slit on my jersey, I would have. <laughs> three by Nemhart drew nothing but the glass, and Providence trying to cut this into single digits. No whistle, lock for three, and it is down. You're able to make something happen out of nothing. Hopkins being aggressive, fell on the ground. But because Lord Knock just knocked down a three, he's still feeling it. It rolls to him. Open three, knocked down. Lock's been great here in this second half. Creighton's offense has stalled just a touch. Trying to get it inside. Kalkbrenner backing down on Moore. Kalkbrenner underneath. Got blocked. No foul. You're able to make something happen out of nothing. Hopkins being aggressive fell on the ground. But because Lord Knock just knocked down a three, he's still feeling it. It rolls to him. Open three, knocked down. Lock's been great here in this second half. Creighton's offense has stalled just a touch. Trying to get it inside. Kalkbrenner backing down on Moore. Kalkbrenner underneath. Got blocked. No. Foul. It up and knocking it down. Good to be at the right place at the right time as Kalkbrenner misses the safe throw for Kalkbrenner today. 9.6 rebounds. Looking for a defensive stop here from the Blue Jays. Well, the Friars are starting to gain momentum all because of Hopkins initiating aggressive early. Pierre with a little hesitation. We wanted a call on that play. I think it was a good no call. Hopkins with good help defense. Providence running the break. Hopkins going in and he makes it. We wanted a call on that play. I think it was a good no call. Hopkins with good help defense. Providence running the break. Hopkins going in and he makes it. I think there was an advantage there by Hopkins throwing off Kalkbrenner's shot. I would make. Well, misses the free throw. Three on Hopkins now. Coming up on 12 and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Back to a six-point lead for Creighton. Lock on the handoff. Trill is also skilled in passing. Kalkbrenner and Moore was right there to deny, but Kalkbrenner is there. Crucial disadvantage for the Blue Jays. And Providence on this run. There's a steal by Creighton. Nemhard pulls it back out. The crowd has almost been a non-factor here for much of the second half because of this Providence run. Kaluma passed up the three, now Nemhart. And this is an arena where the crowd can really rock and roar in here. And the Friars are doing a good job keeping them, which I call the six-man out of it. How about that? Roll and change it up at all. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want to get him mixed up. No, no, no. He wants to go to sleep and he ends up in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Breed, his jumper from the wing. Allen. Back to back starts with Bynum hurt. Carter's teardrop. No, there's Croswell to clean it up. Hopkins. That's what you call playing defense without fouling when you could be in foul trouble at any time. Hopkins doing it right there, forcing Kaluma to shoot a short fadeaway. One possession game. Hopkins tries to tie it, and he does. Here comes this before. We've seen this movie before where he takes a team and gets it done. And then Shaka Smart, he just has those young guys and that team playing at a high level with energy and intensity. They're playing just like his head coach wants them to. One loss in conference play, and it was these Friars in double overtime is cold. Believe me, it will come down to those two guys coming down the stretch. Great help defense from Nemhard, but Cross in the Big East. Not coming into the season, you wouldn't think that. No he doubt. He averages 14 points a game, and one of the reasons is because of his offensive rebounding and his deliberate knack to be aggressive in the paint when he gets the ball. Kaluma! Aggressive. 
Noah Locke just picked up his fourth. First. Focus on when you're coming out on his possession. Devin Carter, an air ball. Devin Carter right there kind of got out of this what was making them play well as a team. Shireman dumps it off. Caught Brenner. Fouled. He's going to the line. You focus on when you're coming out on his possession. Devin Carter, an air ball. Devin Carter right there kind of got out of this what was making them play well as a team. Shireman dumps it off. Caught Brenner. Fouled. He's going to the line. Got to have a headband. Got to have a headband. Necessary accessories. <laughs> I'm picking him first. And it makes Providence defend a little bit longer. Fresh 20. Now down to 10. And a whistle down low on Croswell. And that's going to be coming for Kalkbrenner. You get a foul. You get a foul. Everybody gets a foul. Well, it's been a very clean game. The officials have done a nice job here today. As Kalkbrenner. A good balance on letting some stuff play through and some stuff they're calling. And that's not always a good thing for you as a coach. And a blocking two shots for Hopkins. Makes the first for transfer. These two coaches right here, Coach McDermott and Coach Cooley, your offense and be able to play. They know how to teach and develop, and they both have coach pros. And a foul on Croswell down low. He can't believe. The officials are trying to make sure they're not calling that each coach is not going to be happy about certain calls. Trying to create space. Kalkbrenner with the block. Croswell there. Kind of threw a palm ball up at the rim. Shireman trying to get it to Kalkbrenner. Just for Shireman. Carter looking for help. Turns it over. Trying to create space. The corner. Shireman with two points here in the second half. Running that clock. Three and a half to go. The Blue Jays are being patient, which they should be. Alexander. And the team at the line. Trey Alexander, 82%. And he makes the first. Almost jinxed him. Earlier in the season, before the Big East tournament, gave... The Blue Jays are thrashing. Free to shoot. Hopkins. Fall away jumper. Hopkins. No. Offensive rebound. The put back there. That's Bree. Free to shoot. Hopkins. Fall away jumper. Hopkins. No. Offensive rebound. The put back there. That's Bree. He averages close to two steals a game. That's impressive. Two. He, he, to try and cut it to five. Reed. Tough shot right there, Jeff. Tough shot. I would have liked to see if I'm Coach Cooley a little bit more working the ball around to get a better shot. He could have get that at the end of the shot clock. Kaluma on the drive. Kaluma. Absolutely brutal. Time zones are plenty. Maui, Texas, Vegas. Back to the Midwest. Trying to hang on. Seven point lead for Creighton. Warriors need to get a good quality shot right here. They don't have much time to waste. Yeah, a lot of time ticking down. Hopkins on the drive. And he's able to finish. And the Friars, big time score, stepping up to get a needed bucket right there. Remember, no timeouts left for Providence. Creighton has two. Got it across the timeline. Gonna have to foul. Gonna have to foul. Got a foul. And there it is from Hopkins. Once the ball got past half court. Alexander at the line again. Alexander, six of seven from the free throw strike. Now, so when we finish, you'll see the Lady Blue Jays against the Butler Bulldogs. Breed running into Kalkbrenner. There's a three from the corner. No good. Carter able to tip it in. Able to tip it in. Providence still breathing. Got a foul right away. You go for the steal, but you foul. Good job by Breed. 13 from the field, including one of five from three. As Alexander makes the 14 from the field, including one of five from three. As Alexander makes the first. Breed looking for action. Hopkins. His drive and a blocking. Breed looking for action. Hopkins 
His drive and a blocking. Make it feel like it's lasting for five minutes and hoping that the team makes a mistake. Well, Hopkins just missed. We'll get an offensive. Got to get this ball in. Farabella to do it. Kaluma's got it. Nemhart has an opportunity to run this thing out. And Creighton is going to finish off the upset of number 19 Providence. Their nine-game winning streak comes to a halt in Omaha. Blue Jays. As usual, thanks for watching and please provide your comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps the channel out.